and welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. This is going to be another NFL episode, particularly like a contract one, and I'm going to try to keep this one short and sweet. So I'm sure everyone knows because you've seen all over social media that the Cowboys did not extend Dak Prescott. Now, I'm a Giants fan, I'm a Cowboy hater, so I'll stop right there and give you a moment to take this in. Now, the Cowboys offered Dak Prescott a five-year, $175 million contract, which he declined because he would rather play a four-year contract. I can't argue there, you know, the extra year is crucial. So now the Cowboys didn't extend him, and now he gets franchise tag. So now he's going to play under the franchise tag and make $31.4 million a year. Nothing to sneeze at, nothing bad, but there's no long-term security. So now, I'm just sitting here thinking, what's to stop the Cowboys from tagging him again. So now the Cowboys tagged him once this year. Chances are the Cowboys are going to tag him again next year if they can. And then maybe they'll offer him the four-year contract that he wanted as a slap in the face because now they got him for six years instead of five years. Which if that's the case and they can do it, he just fucked himself because now he's going to be in Dallas an extra year. Now I know Dallas and Texas has a lot of draw. Now they're supposed to be America's team even though they haven't won a Super Bowl since 1993. Jerry Jones does love to spend money and Jerry Jones loves to bring talent around quarterbacks, running backs. He did build a great team, but they can't win playoff games. So now my thought process is, if you're Dak Prescott, do you want to stay with the Cowboys? Or if you're Cowboys fans, do you really still want Dak Prescott? And the answer is, in my opinion, it should be no. You know, you guys drafted Dak Prescott in the third or fourth round, and it was the same year that you guys picked Ezekiel Elliott in the first round. To me, Zeke means more to the Cowboys than Dak Prescott does. Hence the reason why Zeke got paid and Dak didn't. Now, everyone's gonna bash me for this, but even if you go back and redraft this and Dak Prescott got taken in the first round and uh, instead of Jared Goff and it was Dak Prescott and then Carson Wentz, he probably would have ended up going to the Cleveland Browns. Now, I'm not saying that the Cleveland Browns don't have a good team now, although I do rip on them in pretty much all of my other NFL videos, and if you haven't seen them, you should go and check them out. I don't think that his success has to do with him as much as it has to do with the opportunity that he has around him. So having the best offensive line in the league, having one of the best running backs in the league, having one of the best receiving cores in the league, of course you're going to put up incredible statistics because now you have all of this stuff around you. But if he were to leave the Dallas Cowboys and say he goes to a team like the Miami Dolphins, and I know that that's not going to happen because they just drafted Tua. But let's just say he goes to the Carolina Panthers, who all they have is Christian McCaffrey. Is he going to have the same kind of success that he has in Dallas? Even if he went to the in-state rival Houston Texans, would he still have the same kind of success on another team that he does in Dallas because of what was built around him. And I say no. I know the Cowboys fans are not gonna like this, and I say that you guys should either try to trade him, which I don't know if you can trade him on the franchise tag, probably not. If you can agree to a trade with another team who actually wants him, trade him, get the couple picks that you're gonna get. You have Andy Dalton as a backup, re-sign Andy Dalton for next to nothing, and then now make sure that you keep your offensive line intact. Make sure that you keep your receiving core. Make sure that you spend money on defense and see maybe if Andy Dalton can help you win a playoff game. Something that, you know, the Cowboys have failed to do under Jerry Jones recently. And I know Dak Prescott does have a playoff win. But with that team that they have, they should be able to win the Super Bowl every year. If you gave Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson or Deshaun Watson the same team that Dak Prescott has, I guarantee you, Cowboys fans, you would have a Super Bowl. So now, do you guys actually feel that Dak Prescott is worth that five-year, $175 million contract? Knowing now that he's going to ask for more because Patrick Mahomes just got his mega deal and Lamar Jackson will probably be soon behind him, followed by Deshaun Watson. So with this information that you know, would you pay him? Now, if you have the opportunity, let's just say as a Cowboys fan, where the Packers drafted Jordan Love and you kind of sense that Aaron Rodgers is on his way out, would you rather have Aaron Rodgers or Dak Prescott? These are the things that you have to consider when you look big picture at this Dak Prescott contract. 
what quarterbacks could potentially become available? You know, could you kick the tires and try to get someone? Is he worth the long-term deal? I know that he's been healthy. I know that he's been putting up crazy numbers, but he hasn't been winning you a Super Bowl. So all of these numbers mean absolutely nothing at the end of the day if you're a Cowboys fan if he doesn't win you a Super Bowl. Now I know that everyone could go back and say Dan Marino never won a Super Bowl, but at least he went to one. Do you think the Cowboys should re-sign him? I say no. I say count your blessings that you guys can't agree on the deal, cut your losses, either trade him before the draft next year if you can, or just let him go and let it ride with Andy Dalton or with someone else you can pick up in the third or fourth round. You know, eight and eight is mediocrity, and I am a Cowboys hater, and you guys consider yourself America's team. Why are you gonna settle for average? That's just my take on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of whether or not the Cowboys should extend him. Are you upset that they franchise tagged him? Follow me on Instagram at Raw Sports Talk. Follow me on Twitter at Raw Sports Talk 1. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro.